tomorrow. Big Aggie. You ought to put Big Aggie. They will know. Yes, well, you remember, Leonard. Others won't. Ah, oh, there's plenty of your own mates left. I'm hoping so. The chief's off. Still, that'll suit you, eh? Suit you very well. What makes you say that? Oh, I heard you didn't part the best of friends. I don't believe a half of what I hear. Best, really. It was lies. Lies and propaganda, eh? I didn't say that, either. When do I get to hear the real true story, then? Come the revolution. Morrow, officer, one of the best. What do they do? They boot her out. That's management for you. What for? Well, I'll tell you what for. Active in a work to rule. Victimised? Out on her ear. I heard her say she still worked in a prison. Oh, very right, she does an open place up north. Well, then? They got her out. It was a transfer on the surface, but underneath. Oh, no. I think I'd like to go back north, given half a chance. Leave the service? Maybe no. I'd just get homesick for the space. I mean, look at this garden, the size of it. Makes you weep. Well, I don't know. It's all green where I am. H.M. Garden Prison. Should do them good. Oh, yes. Roses, roses all the way. Maybe you just worked here too long. I mean, to settle somewhere else. Maybe I'm not a chambermaid. Well, things have got to change. You'd be surprised. Things have changed here. Customers don't change. Look over there. Thelma. We'll put seeds in the ground. I've told you before. I see. Leaky window, eh? Yes, well, I think the plaster goes and then the wet starts to dribble through. Oh, it didn't dribble through last night. came down like a flaming waterfall. Don't exaggerate, Iris. Well, it was some storm we had. Yeah, well, we could get more storms. I know. So the plaster will be fixed? Mm. Occupational therapy, young lady. Here, look. I had it on the wall. It's wet. Well, it looks fine to me. It's bloody wet. Do you want compensation? Well, I don't want pneumonia. Oh, don't exaggerate. Now, come on. Iris. Nobody sleeps in a damp cell. Not in my hospital. Right. Well, I'm leaving it here to dry, so no one touch. Oh. Your escort's probably gone by now. Well, take Iris to occupational therapy, would you please? Sorry about Iris. She's got a bit bolsher lately. Did she make this herself? Oh, yes, in OT. Funny girl. It's meant to be the governor. Iris has a passion for the governor. Now, where else has it been raining in? Oh, yes, I'll show you now. It's just along here. It's quite there. I had a few days leave. Felt it was time I said hello. Looked up old friends. I see. You'd like permission to go round? If that would suit. Mrs Phillips? When an officer's on duty, she's on duty. There isn't that much time to stand around and chat. I'd rather you saw them when they were free, outside the prison or maybe in the mess. Of course. I just wanted to get the feel of the place again. Oh, I see. Nostalgia. If you like. And things might have changed. Oh, yes. Well, I hope they have. I'd like to think we've progressed a little. Progressed? Yes, that's what I said. I came from quite a progressive prison, you know. Not unlike the place where you work now. I'd like to see that sort of progress here, and I'm sure I shall. You're not too happy where you are, Miss Morrow? Not very happy, no. Is that a recent thing? I've never fitted in there. Do you think you'd fit in better here? Look, whoever governs this place, however progressive they are, the fact remains it's a high-security prison. That's what matters to me. I want to work again in a closed prison. Now, obviously, you know that. Yes, actually, I do. Miss Morrow would like to work here again. Yes, I've applied to come back. I'm only surprised you waited so long. I wanted to give the other prisoner a chance. Well, I approve of that. I'm glad you tried, even though it didn't work out. May I go around, then? Yes. I think you ought to catch up with things. You did take the point I was trying to make earlier, didn't you? Oh, I think we can trust Miss Morrow with all her long experience. I'm sure she'll see who's busy and who's not. A temperature set of keys? Yes, please, if you could just use them now. I'd, uh... Like a word with you first, madam. Would you mind? No, of course. I think I know what you're going to say. You do know about Agnes Morrow. Yes, I've read Mrs. Forrest's report. How she leaned on an inmate. You weren't with us then, were you? Uh, well, no, but I have heard from Mrs. Armitage. Oh, well, Morrow did nothing wrong, nothing that could be proved. No charge could be brought against her. A transfer was suggested, that's all. But on what grounds? on the grounds that a smaller prison might suit her better. Described as loyal, committed to the service, highly popular amongst her colleagues. But did they know what she was up to? Oh, well, she might have been even more popular if they had. Are you saying you'd have her back, madam? 
It's not up to me. The establishment's officer will decide. <laughs> Won't you be consulted? I have been, actually. I should think the wheels are turning now. But in what direction? Don't ask me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 180. Thank you. Think your nose won't stick. It keeps on peeling off. Well, put more glue on. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, and have glue all squidging out. Iris, be sensible. Just try a different bit of stuff. kept peeling off last time. Serves you right. Serves you right, you stupid git. Well, it's for the lady, this. It's for the governor, that's right. Well, give her that picture. Yeah. See, if I do it right and she likes it, she'll let me work outside out in the gardens. That's bribery. I'd soon know which was wheat and that I bloody would. They can't take bribes. Yeah, well, I think they're daft. I mean, they let me come in here, don't they, where there are needles and all that. I mean, I could pinch needles, couldn't I? And stick them in myself. Unless you get your hands on mine. Could do, but I don't. Oh, I see what I see. I, I mean, do. I mean, they let me come in here, but they won't let me go outside. I mean, what they think I'm going to do? Stick a pitchfork through me foot or something? And put it past you. Look, Mrs. Dobin, look, I haven't cut myself for ages, and the doctor's ever so pleased with me, he is. Yes, I know, Iris, but the governor can't take bribes. You can't force her to let you work outside, you know. Your friend was right. My friend, you must be joking. Oh, Iris, I'm your friend. You're not! Why don't you get me what I want? You know I want to work outside. Well, what can I do, dear? I'm only your prison visitor. Yeah, well, why bother then? Hey, why bother coming here, eh? Shove off! Here, get the old bag out, will you? Oh. But what was the commotion about? Well, I don't really know. She's such a nice girl, usually. I've never seen her rude or rough. Yes, well, by all accounts, she was this time. All right, I'll have a word with her. Oh, but listen, couldn't you let her work in the gardens? Mm. That's what she wants, not tablets. <laughs> Look, Mrs. Oh, Derby, I don't I... mean no disrespect, but, well, I remember Shirley, see? Shirley? Yeah, you looked after her. Then when she come out, she lived with me. I thought then all them tablets, but you said you thought she ought to have them. Yes, yes, now I remember. I should have thrown them all away. That's why I visit, see? Because Shirley done away with herself in my back room with them pills. I think perhaps this time I could be a help. Look, Mrs. Dobing, I'm glad that you visit Iris, and I do appreciate what you say, but Iris does have problems, and they're a lot more complex than you think. You do remember, Shirley. But I don't think the comparison is helpful. Oh, very well, Doctor, if you say so. All the same. I'll see what I can do. You've been through reception. What do you think? On the drab side, I agree. But then that's right and proper in my book. Taste of what they're in for, eh? They come here to be locked up. Coat all the walls in psychedelic paint. You won't alter that. You tell that to him. Oh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Adley. Right. Are we fit, then? Uh, yes, I've uh, just been down to the hospital. A couple of days' work there. Eh? Good. You'll be busy then, won't you? Look, I have seen reception before, you know. Yeah, we'll try and see it through their eyes for once. First place to see when they come in. It isn't good enough. Come on, Very well, but there's got to be something for them to do. I mean, if we had several acres, it'd be different, but we don't. It's a very small garden. Yes, yes, I know that. Dr. Mays, it isn't just this girl. You want other patients to work outside. Yes, but they can wait. If the party's too large, then I don't have the staff. All right, Mrs. Phillips, I'll let you know what we decide. Thank you. We do try and do our best. Mm. Ah. <sighs> How strong did you feel? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't that much. But then that's the point, you see, because I have this feeling, a hunch, if you like, that I have neglected this one. Coffee? No, no, no. Thank you. It's not a very scientific case. Oh, well, as regards Iris, science can't help me much. No label really fits. Well, I can't overload Mrs. Phillips, especially with Mrs. Armitage away. And about the supervision, she's right. The more of your patients who work outside, the harder it is for her staff. Well, maybe I could sedate her more. Oh, come on, I'll be to be fair. Other girls have got a claim. They've waited. They've had their hopes built up. Does Iris get it over them? Your decision. 
Would it hurt her to wait a few weeks? Oh, well, I can't give you a scientific yes. Then I think she must wait. That's how it seems to me, looking at it overall. Hmm. Dispassionately. Isn't that my job? Well, of course we're short of staff, just as pushed as ever. And don't anyone say otherwise. You look well on it, though. Oh, well, you don't change much yourself. No, I don't change. <laughs> you won't forget Florence, will you? Oh, no, sorry, Miss Simpson. I've got to go now. Yeah, you could come with me if you like. No, no, I'll let you get on. OK, see you later then. <laughs> come on, Flo, old girl. Ah. Up you come. It's a good Can girl. I show off our handiwork? Yeah, you're... I'm sure you're going to. Here, you'll have to turn all that lot out. No, here. That basket's spoken for. In fact, Jilly made it, didn't she? So what? I'm only using it. It's not for use. It's just for looking at. Looking at? That's right. All right, then look at it. Get out of it, you can dumb you bitch. Can you see it, eh? Hey? I'll tell you like it. I'll tell you what's going to me, eh? Get you out of it. You sure you can breathe in there? That's a thought. Hold still. Ah, oh, this is Iris. Iris makes pictures, tapestries. Look, I finished it. Oh, Iris, I think that's the best you've ever done. Yeah? You have it, then. Take it home. Put it on your wall. Iris, you know I can't. I can't take presents home. You, then. Can you take presents home? Yes. Yes, I suppose I can. <laughs> Miss Mora used to work here. Oh, we'll have it to remind you. It's of the lady, see? The governor. Oh, yes. Thank you, Iris. Why do you call her the lady? Because she is. Oh, well, I don't know if she exactly really is, you know, lady something. Well, she's certainly not that. I think she's a lady, though. It's because of the way she walks about and smiles and... Oh, there's a lot of fuss and... Well, not important like the Queen, you know, but... Well, sort of, yeah. She is important. Yeah! If she said yes, I'd be out in the gardens just like that. Just like you snap your fingers, quick as blinking, see? What if she said no? Oh, I think I'd still like her, I think. And if she just looked through you, how would you feel then? Would you still curtsy to her? Dunno. Yes, probably you would. Your arm. Oh, it was only a little prick. It's not that. Ah, yes. Well, you'll just have to wait your turn, that's all. But you'll get there in the end. When? We don't know when. Winter when all the flowers are gone. Oh, you're not so keen on the digging, then. Oh, you think of mine what I do? You know, 300 people live here in this prison. Another 100 work here. No more than that, nearer two. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle, in a way. If you move one piece of the jigsaw, that affects everything else. Now, the governor... She can joggle the pieces around, but she's still got to make sure that everything fits. Well, if she's got three, four, maybe five hundred to look out for, she's not going to think about me, is no, she? Well, that isn't what I said, is it, sister? Well, it's more, you know, she can't please everybody, that's all, that's all. She'd like to, though. That's why you're on the waiting list. Must be clever, eh? All them people to look out for. Yeah. Thanks. Well, how long will you be with us, then? Oh, I've got my brother to see yet. I'll stop over the weekend. <laughs> Hard not knowing, isn't it? One way or the other. I've left a forwarding address. Ah, so you might hear while you're in London. Well, that's bound to be yes. That sort of stuff is bound to be. I thought I'd find you here. Hey, look, I'm just keeping Aggie company. <laughs> Haunting the place she is. Hello. Hello. Oh, do you know Mrs Phillips, our second chief? Yes, we've met already. How'd you find it yesterday? Strange, really. As if I'd never been away. Every door I opened up, memories of some sort. <laughs> Excuse me saying this, but given how you feel, you know, about methods and that, why did you ever leave? Oh, I know we can all get shunted about, but it was your choice, wasn't uh, it? But look, Mary, you weren't involved in the work to room. I was, and I can tell you, we all felt pretty lousy after that. Well, I almost felt like walking out myself. But you got something out of it, didn't you? You weren't all that cheesed off. Uh, yes, but... I'm sure Miss Morrow had her reasons. Ah, oh, well, that's all past history now. Here's to Aggie's transfer. Let's hope there's a letter in the post. 
Well, the point is, which shall I start first? Reception or the hospital? Start on the hospital, why not? Oh, Mr. Radley won't like it. He'll blame me, oh, too. Oh, no, that's nonsense. Oh, no, it's not. I'll get the brunt of it. Look, I've told you what I think. If you disagree, Look, I've then... not got 50 pairs of hands. Exactly. One job at a time. Well, you know what Mr. Radley's like. They won't like this. Not one beat. Now, what exactly are you saying? That your claim should have ousted mine? Look, reception could have been done by now. There wouldn't have been any clash. I mean, when did I first bring it up? Five weeks ago, she needed time to think. Hmm. Well, that seems fair enough. No, look. The works department was slack at the time. Now, that's not a chance you miss. I mean, sometimes you just got to jump in quick. Don't juggle. Just get in there. Well, I'm in the same boat, in a way. I mean, I don't always get what I want, you know. In fast, forget the juggling act. But I call jigsaw puzzles. Right. Oh, I know there's got to be some sort of pattern. <laughs> Depends how rigid you want to be. How rigid would you be? That's number one. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know until I tried. You see, that's the trouble with being the Dep. Well, I advise you so-and-so, but really you'll have to take it to the Governor. She's the final arbiter, you know. Now, it's too easy to put all the blame on her. Make her the scapegoat. Yeah. Blame her, we just sit back. Blame her, we're off the hook. I mean, what are we? <laughs> Underlings? Yeah. Well, I think we're pathetic. Well, what do you want me to do? Get out my ladders and paint reception myself? <laughs> I don't know about you, but as a result of this talk, I have made a resolution. Oh, yeah? I am treating a girl called Iris. She is not a bit of puzzle. She is not cardboard. But she is a very irregular shape of a girl, and I doubt if she will ever fit into any normal pattern for the rest of her days. I tried to help her. One door closed. All right. I will try to open another door. Now that, Charles, that is positive thinking. Could always be the whiskey. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, the doctor telephoned me, see. Really, the whole thing was his idea. Yes, he's already told me. You want to take Iris out? Yeah, just for the afternoon. I thought Saturday. Not very far. Somewhere where there's flowers, you know, a park. From what you know of Iris, do you think she's up to it? Oh, yes. He thinks she's down, you know, and going out well be a change. Side, she'd be trusted, wouldn't she? And how do you feel about it? Oh, I don't mind. I'll do my shopping Friday. <laughs> I meant it wouldn't be too much. You'd be responsible for her. Oh, I know. Well, I hope I wouldn't let you down. You've done very well with Mrs Weeks. Oh, yes, yeah, she's doing nicely at the moment. I don't oh. get no trouble there. Well, you shouldn't get any trouble with Iris. No. No, I don't think so. It's only lately she's been a little bit rude. Usually she's such a good girl. Mm. You know there's a park about five, ten minutes walk away, just round the corner, really. Oh, that sounds nice. It's not just that. Dr Mays rules out the bus in case she panics. Yes. Oh, a walk is better. Good. All right, then. I'll see about her pass. You mean yes, then, do you? Yes. Yes, Mrs Dobing. Take her out. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, do you think Saturday's a good day, then? I think Saturday's an excellent day. Oh, well, well, I'll find the park on my way back and then I'll know where it is, like. Well, I don't think you'll get lost. No. No, I'll take a picnic, some sandwiches and... Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm busy, I'm afraid. Still, I've got the weekend off. Saturday's my treat, too. Oh, well, have a nice time, won't you? <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Doping. Same to you. Ta. Hmm. Father O'Callaghan was in and out. What was all that? Don't know. Wasn't on. Lenny might be here in a bit. He's got trouble with his motor car. Again? See, it's his foreign job. First it keeps on going wrong, then he can't get the spare parts. Yeah. Morning, Mr Radley. Morning. Put a thing in order, sir? Yeah. Priest seems to have had a busy night. Yes. From what I gather, he got detained through someone being sick. Then he was off and out to midnight mass, realised he'd left his chasuble and had to return for it and out again. He's what? Chasuble. It's a vestment without sleeves, worn at mass and such. Oh. You're well up on the clergy? Yeah. For someone of your leanings? Right. All in order. Ta. Comic. He's cheerful, Charlie, when he's boss. Well, like I would be if I was standing in for you. That'd be the day. You've got a way to go yet, son. Oh, I don't know. I do. You don't have senior gatemen with no teeth.
Quiero. Come on. Don't be scared. This is to say that she's lawfully at large. In case a copper stops you, Get see. on and check her bag. That's a very important document, this is. On no account to lose it. Iris. And who's to take charge of it, then? Oh, well, I'd better in my bag. Telescope! Oh, that's her picture. She wanted to have it Stick with Stick it on the railings. They bite well, off you, then. just for luck. Here. And the bag. Right. Just signing out, then. Signing out. And later there'll be a signing in. she has to do her shopping the same as the rest of us. Nice for her being so near, you know, in case she's needed in the night. Just round the corner, really. Well, come on now, don't loiter. They'll wonder what we're doing of. Oh, his bag's heavy. Come on, dear. Mind how you go. Won't be much longer. That's where she lives in there. Oh, come on, dear. Don't hang about. <laughs> OK, let her go. Yes, yeah, hurts, doesn't it? Next time you have an argument, Jones, I hope it's with a brick wall. <laughs> all right, all right, as you were. Right, take her back to a wing. Check with her AG. See, she's all right. Jones, send her office. You're ready in a moment. All right. You heard Mr. Radley move. All right, Mary? It's strong for me, that's all. Need someone like Big Aggie. Well, if it's strong on stuff you want, somebody had to restrain her. No, what I really mean, Aggie wouldn't need to lift a finger. She'd just loom up on them. The threat would be enough. Do you loom up on people? It takes all sorts, though, doesn't it? Aggie'd do it one way, I'd do it another. Who's to say which is best? Well, I know which is best, all right. Mrs. Dobie. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't that lovely? Well, I'll think about them. It'd be nice, don't you? Yes, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, look at them. Oh, I'm baking them. Yeah, lovely. Oh, look at them roses. Oh, aren't they lovely? Oh, of course, we, here, let me have a smell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. My elf would have liked them. Yeah, we used to grow them, you know. I think this would be about right, don't you? Oh, of course, my elf, he never would eat a picnic. You know, he used to say he was eating flies and sand. Still, there's not much sand round here, is there? But you do get a few insects when there's flowers about. So I suppose he wouldn't have liked this much. But it is a tidy park, isn't it, Iris? 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 Where are you, dear? Oh, Iris? Iris? Oh. Iris? Oh. Iris? Oh. Dead eddings, see? If you let them go to seed, their strength gets all used up. Well, when's busy, then? March, April, May. We start in May. Seed trays first, thins them out, and then we start to bed them down in May. What, not straight in the ground? You can't put them straight in the ground. They'd grow all higgledy-piggledy. Iris. <laughs> yes, Iris. but... Oh, Iris. Oh, what were you doing of? Oh, it's all right. It's OK. Oh. Oh. This man is in charge of all this park. Oh. Lady, you've been rushing. Well, I get all flattery, don't I, giving me a fright like that? But it's all right, really, it is. Oh. Trust me, Mrs. Dobing.
Me. Sorry I didn't call before, but I got caught up. It isn't Iris, is it? No, she's back on time and right as rain. Oh, well, that's good. You sound relieved. Yes, I am. Look, it's about this party. We'll have to make it later, if you don't mind. Well, I don't mind. What about your friends? Oh, well, they've pestered me for so long to meet you. They'll just be glad if we turn up. We're not trying to cry off. No. I'm thinking of you, really. I mean, they are very old friends, but I'd better warn you, they do go on a bit. Well, there'll be other people there. Oh, yes, talking about trailer tents and how to freeze broccoli. Oh, it sounds awful. Never mind, I'll risk it. You sure? Yes, I'm not going to miss my evening out. Right, I'll be round as soon as I can. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. I see, I see. A journalist can't get to talk to an inmate or to a member of the staff without your say-so. Is that right? Well, you do know why we have these restrictions. Well, it's all part of closing ranks. They're to protect the inmate. Their personal life is their affair. Why should they be asked about their case? Look, Don, if you were inside, would you want your photograph taken? Well, if I shouldn't be inside, yes. Miscarriages of justice. Right. Ah, well, now you're talking about something else. You did say black. Thanks. So, people aren't convicted wrongly, then? <laughs> well, I don't convict them. I don't sentence people. They are there, and we have to deal with them as best we can. You see, you will do this, Don. You will generalise. Well, I was in a picket line. I wasn't doing anything. I had these teeth knocked out. Well, they look fine teeth to me. Yes, but it's just a bridge. His best friend spent a night in a cell. No picnic that. Oh, boy. And did he expect a picnic? Lucky it wasn't Chris. I'd have waited in myself. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you see the programme about prisoners' wives? No. Was it any good? I really felt for those women. Of course, I understand how they feel. My husband's away a lot of the time. No, what does he do? He goes off climbing mountains. He's in the Hindu Kush. Oh, <laughs> well, that's an interesting sort of, uh, what, hobby? No, obsession. You really should have seen that programme. Yes, well, I wish I had. Then we could have talked about it, starting from what was on the screen, you know? Something concrete. <laughs> Well, you can't sit up and hum all night. It's always unsettling going out. I met this Parks and Gardens man. It's a good job that, you know, it's different each time of the year. Oh, well, it's quite steady sort of work. Maybe if you were lucky. Oh, I will be, I will be now. You settle down to sleep. Well, can't I do that? No, no, no. We can't have our governor washing up. I don't see why not. Go and talk to Rebecca. She's in a bad way. Depressed, you know. I think perhaps I ought to find Peter. Oh, he's upstairs in the study, talking to the wife. You know, they used to work together. Well, once they get going on the past and glands and stuff, it's Urdu to us lay people. Are there more plates out there, do you think? Yes, I think there are a few. I'll go. Um, Uh, will your husband be away long? No, he's due back next week. Well, that'll be nice for you. Are you married? I was. Not anymore. No, I thought so. Hmm? Well, I sometimes think if I had an important job, if I was front page news, how would my husband feel? Threatened, I think. Well, that would depend. Is it difficult being ruthless? <laughs> I don't think I am. Oh, come on, don't you have to be? I'm sure my husband would say he has to be. Well, that's his problem, isn't it? Oh, I think you'd get on very well with him. The one's up front. Uh, excuse me, can you come? This friend of mine's turned up, the one who got arrested. He can't believe we let you in the house. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going now. I'll just find your father and say goodnight. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but what about old Peter? Well, perhaps you tell him for me, will you? Just uh, say I have a headache. Is that the excuse you usually make when people like me are boring you? Sometimes. Then, of course, when I really do have a headache, no one believes me. You sound almost human.
So you didn't flee the country? No. Only our precious friends. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, are you working? No. No, I couldn't concentrate. Smoking won't help. Well, I only had one. <laughs> A likely tale. All right, then. Why did you flee? Well, I'm sorry, but I just had enough. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. You don't know what? Perhaps I ought to laugh at her. Well, yes. I mean, when you get militant, I have to keep asking myself, where is the Susie I used to know? Buried under 25 years. <laughs> no, look, listen. In those days, there was no question of who am I? Nobody will let me be myself. I mean, there you were. So many pawns, a person occupying a space. You were yourself. Mm. It's when I feel that something's wrong. That's when I start to question things. Sometimes I think you women just enjoy it. Coffee? If you're making some. Well, I don't enjoy it much. Ah, thank you. Some of the windows are much worse. All that plaster has been renewed. Yes, I can see. Did they um, clear up afterwards? Oh, this room's never been so neat and tidy. Iris can be a sloven when she wants. Does this room belong to Iris? Yes. Well, that's you. Did Iris make it? Iris churns them out. It's a regular assembly line. You mean there are more like this? Well, I'm afraid so. When Iris gets a craze, she gets a craze. Are they all exactly the same? I mean, full-length pictures? No, no, no. Some are head and shoulders. A portrait sort of thing. Depends what mood the artist's in. No, I can guess what's in it. Well, what reason do they give? Oh, they couldn't spare me where I am. Words to that effect. Pressures of stuffing. Is that true? Can't say I've noticed much. Perhaps you're just too valuable to lose. Well, I mean, could be that. Perhaps. I need to get back. Oh, I'm sorry, Aggie. Maybe if you apply again, you know, maybe in a few months' time. I shouldn't think I will. As well. Nice to see you. Have a good trip back. You feel quite bitter, don't you? Yes. Is it because you think they're being less than frank that really they just don't want you here? Oh, I'm quite sure they don't. You see, I used my weight against an inmate. Well, not my physical weight, I don't mean that. The weight of my authority, that's what. Power, if you like. And those who say we don't have power, they're just hypocrites. Power to punish, power to lock up, and to frighten, if need be. That's why that uniform, why those keys? Well, at least you're honest about it. But that's not how they like to see it, though. Mary, time's getting on a bit. Oh, yes, sorry. Well, good luck. I wasn't corrupting her, you know. Oh, she's a lady with a mind of her own. You couldn't influence her too much. And do you have a mind of your own? Or do you just get brainwashed by Mrs Armitage? I have opinions, yes. I believe officers must be flexible, they must move with the times, and if they can't, well, there's no room for them. Oh, for scrap heap, then? It's only my opinion. You gave it to the Governor, I suppose. I think she feels the same, even more strongly, I would say. I see. As you know, we're building a new prison. The Governor's throwing all the weight behind the plans. There's going to be wash basins in every room, a swimming pool, a lot. Stone Park won't be the same. Could you adapt to that? I wasn't asked. You know, this came by the first post Saturday morning. I've read it dozens of times since. Each time it seems more like double Dutch. Well, it's the jargon. No, not just that. You see, it comes from a man. He's called the Establishments Officer. Fair enough. But he doesn't know me from Adam. I know he's had reports from people, yes. Well, from the governors, to be precise. But what do they know either? Just faceless bureaucrats. I'm talking about Saturday morning. Were you with Iris all the time? Well, nearly all the time. The truth is, she did go off for a bit. Not very long, five or ten minutes. Not more than ten, that's definite. This came through my door on Saturday morning. It's not that it's harmful, but I 
just found it disturbing. Is it her picture? Yeah, but she wouldn't spoil it, though. Someone's removed the eyes from it. Someone's removed the features, yes. She wouldn't do that? Well... Go on. Well, they do come off by themselves if she hasn't glued it right. Now, can you think of any reason, any reason at all, why she should want to put this through my door? A, a present. Well, not so much a present, more of a bribe. So she'd let her work in the garden, see? Is there anything else you can tell me about the outing? Well, she did take a picture with her. Just for luck, she said, for luck. Then we saw you going out shopping, so it was lucky in a way. But that picture was in her bag. She took the bag back afterwards. But the picture was still in it, I, th I think. Yeah, well, I'm sure it was. I, oh, I don't know now. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Dobing. Please don't worry about it. But she's it. such a good girl, usually. How did you like the park? Just like a flower herself. Like... Like marigolds, you know. Now, see if you can straighten them a bit more yourself. All right, all right, all right. Not to worry. I'll see you tomorrow. She was in such a state the other day, she couldn't raise the arm at all. Yes, well, I'd like you to persevere if you can. Oh, yes, of course. She still is much more mobile than she was. No, I don't make mobiles. Mobiles ain't much. Now, I make toys, I do. <laughs> Dare to you, Beanie. Where's your friend? No bloody friend of mine. Oh, Iris, you mean? Yeah. She's working in the gardens. Well, for an hour, at least. You mean she's out there now? I thought you knew instruction from the governor came through this afternoon. I understood it couldn't be done. Well, it has been, I promise you. You might have let me know, that's all. Well, it came to me all at once. If we limit your patients to an hour, then more of them can work outside. It works on a shift basis. It's hard on escorts, but, well, why not have a try? I see. Well, I thought you might be pleased. Well, yes, yes, I am. It's just... Well, it made me look a bit foolish for a moment. It was Iris. I hadn't properly realised how much it meant to her. What made you suddenly see the light? Well, something cropped up. Nothing to worry you with. Five minutes now! Lock up in five minutes! Don't want any ladies climbing out, damaging themselves. All out! And that was that. The whole thing had been arranged. Didn't tell you why, then? No, that got me even more annoyed. Well, it must have been something. Oh, yes. Impulse. I'm sure that's what it was. I'd even say female whim. Still, good governing, though. What? Unpredictability. This time, you see, she comes down for the inmates. Another time, she comes down for the staff. And quick, no messing, excellent. Nobody knows which way she's going to jump. That's good governing. You're great on theory, Charles. <laughs> I don't get much chance to be anything Look, else. Look, I'm finished in half an hour. Do you fancy a drink? How about coming back to my place? Something to eat? Cricket on the lawn, nadder with Beth. I don't know. You may be right about the governor. Maybe I ought to nip round and apologise for not being grateful about Iris. Oh, that could wait. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll see. Agnes Morrow. Um, yes, yes, I know. Can I come in? Of, of course. Did you want to see me about something? 
Yes. I know you're not returning to Stone Park. No. Uh, yes, I played some part in that. Some weeks ago, I was approached by the establishment's officer and asked to state my current staffing position. Asked? In general, asked? I was told that you had applied for a transfer. Yes. Asked if there was room for me. Asked if I was crying out for staff. I couldn't say I was. I told them we were no more pressed than usual. I'm sorry, but I stand by that. I know you must feel very disappointed. I doubt if you know how I feel. How any of your population feels. Oh, that's not true. No. Would you please say what you mean? Yes. Well, you do your rounds. You go on walkabouts. You may nod to an inmate here, an inmate there, an officer, maybe. Know how they feel. You haven't got a chance. And that worries me, you see. Because those people on the wing at whom you nod from a great height, they're entirely in your hands. What you decide can change their lives, or else not change them, as the case may be. I'm well aware of that. Do you think it doesn't worry me? Oh, I don't very much care what worries you. As far as I'm concerned, you're ignorant. Ignorant how people feel. Ignorant of what goes on. Oh, I don't think so. Bullying. Bullying of prisoners by staff. Was I the sole offender, do you think? Do you think it doesn't go on now? No, I'm quite sure it does. But you don't know, do you? No. I sit behind a desk. Fight battles at the Home Office. Pronounce on drains and how much soap we want. I can't work close to the ground. I have to rely on my staff to do that. But if I didn't see to the soap and the drain, Stone Park would come to a full stop. You're very confident. You think so, do you? Look, this came through my door the other day. It may not mean a lot to you, but it happens to be a portrait of myself and I took it to heart because, you see, it seemed inhuman. Or rather, no, human, but not quite human. People see me like that. And there are times when I find that a strain. Because, you see, they don't pop in to chat. They only come to see me when they've got problems, so that I can sort them out. It would be nice just once if they came to show me their new shoes. But I'm the governor, and so they don't. This picture simply brought it home. I felt I was a blank. Powerful, yes, I know. But quite anonymous. You understood it, then? The girl gave me the picture. I did it. When the letter came. On impulse, really, I don't... I didn't really think ahead, not to how you'd feel. Well, now you know. You see, this prison where I am now, it isn't just that I don't fit in there. I'm of no use. I can't contribute there to what they do. I don't approve. I don't understand. I understood Stone Park. All that experience. Think of the waste. I won't bother you again. Governor. No, he isn't here. Well, can't Dr. Dady cope? Well, try Mr. Radler's number. He might just be with him. 